Nat West are seriously claiming that their decision to debank Nigel Farage was not about Brexit. In their subject access request, they mention the word Brexit 86 times. <laughs> It's completely ludicrous. I agree with Nigel Farage. This is a mealy mouth decision that they've come up with. It's a sort of, mm, well, there were issues there, but they need to be looked into. I don't want to live in a world where our banks or our utility companies or our water, electricity, gas, whoever is judging me for my political views. Mm. I think there's a real issue at stake here. Of course, Nigel Farage has a much, you know, much bigger profile than most people. Of course, he's well, very well known for his, for his views. But I think that this is a dangerous precedent to set whereby companies who should be, you know, basically providing a basic service are starting to judge us, starting to give us their woke nonsense, starting to, you know, I, I, that, that's not a world I want to live in. Mm. No, I think it would be reprehensible if we all started losing our, well, if, you know, people who were a bit too right wing oh. for the bank or the utility company. Oh, 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 oh frankly, frankly, frank, frankly sorry, your, your views don't align with frankly, our Frankly, it, it, it cuts both ways. I don't want communists ways. to lose access to their, to their vital services oh, as well. But Matthew, what do you make of this? Well, I think that the report is clear that it was the decision to close Nigel's account was lawful, but the mistakes were made. Nigel seems very angry at this report and has cast aspersions over those who came up with the report. It was independent, who am I to say otherwise, and it does accept that mistakes were made. And Nat West themselves have accepted the mistakes are made. I agree, banking is close to a, a fundamental right. And we need to be able to bank pretty much regardless of our political views, because without a bank account in the modern world, it's almost impossible to function. Mm, certainly. And I, I, yeah, I just feel this muddies the waters when people start being told, you know, sorry, you can't bank with us for this reason. You can't. And in a way, you said it cuts both ways. In a way, it does cut both ways because we have a choice with whom we bank. You know, mm. I, I can decide that Barclays are, are, you know, they don't align with my values. I can go to Santander, whatever. So I can see that. But it's this idea that they're going to start mining through our social media tweets and just checking sort of, you know, what you've said in the past. I just mm. think there's something really quite fundamental about your water, your gas, having a bank mm. account, as you say. You know, a landlord's going to start asking us for our, for our views on things, as social media history. I just think, yeah, I think something here... It, it is true wrong. that this, this thing called PEP, a, a, a sort of politically exposed person, requires banks, as I understand it, to do serious due diligence mm. on those customers or on those applicants for bank accounts. So there are laws in place that require banks to act in certain ways. But broadly speaking, I think we're on a very slippery slope if banks are closing people's bank accounts yeah. because of their political views.